My name is Ken, but my friends call me Ken Dog, and I'm inviting you to join me as I travel down the Mother Road, Route 66. All right, so I am at Pops um, in Arcadia, Oklahoma. I actually just walked through there, um, got me a couple things like this one here. Got to give it a try, the Route 66 root beer. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a shot here. I like root beer. I'm not a fan of Barks. I can't drink caffeine, but the ones that don't have it, which is most, I like. So let's try it. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. It's not overly sweet, um, but yeah, it's really good. And of course, I love the bottle. I mean, just look at that. I really like that. So um, pretty cool. While in there, they also had a few other things that made me smile. So I had to get so good old Chico stick. Man, it's been years since I've had one of these. Um, yeah, forever. Crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut, which is funny. I'm not a coconut fan. 
but I really like these, and I, but I haven't had one in so long, so uh, maybe I won't now. We'll see. But the one that really got me, the one that really made me cry, was um, was one that made me think of my dad, the Idaho Spud. Um, it says on here, it's the candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Um, yeah, my dad was uh, was born and raised in Idaho. He loved him some Idaho Spuds, so. Um, got to get one of these to try and uh, I'm going to save it for later, but I'm um, along with the Chico stick, but yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Time to hit the road. Got to get going. Moving on down route 66. My next stop was in my hometown actually of Edmond, Oklahoma. I've driven by this mural um, many, many times, but I've never actually stopped. And while I was there taking pictures of it, I happened to notice the one across the street with one of my all-time favorites on it. Um, yeah, Bob Ross. Gotta love it. Route 66. Something cool to see everywhere. Built in 1958, this is the Gold Dome. Um, it is the, only the fifth building ever to use Buckminster Fuller's geodesic design, and it is on the National Register of Historic Places. The milk bottle grocery was built in 1930, but the bottle of milk up top was added in 1948. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in March of 1998. Construction began on the Lake Overholzer Bridge in 1924, and it opened to traffic in August of 1925. It is listed on the National Register for Historic Places. It uses a combination of Parker through truss and pony truss in its design. My last stop for the day was the Route 66 Park in Oklahoma City. It's actually right next to Lake Overholzer. It's got this really cool walk here that you can make. That'll take you the entire length of Route 66. 
It's got these cool little medallion looking things that have several locations on the way. Since I was starting my journey in Oklahoma City, headed west, um, I had a lot of these places to look forward to. And then whenever I get the chance to complete the trip, I'll be able to see the rest of it. But it was really neat. I really enjoyed getting to, uh, to, to walk the route and see, see what it shows here, all these different stops along the way. Again, my starting point was right here in Oklahoma City, so we've seen some of these things like the Milk Bottle Grocery there. But the rest of these things like Tulsa and, and Catoosa, we'll have to catch them on another time. But this is really kind of cool how they've got just all these different stops along the way. There's Joplin and Carthage. It'd be really cool to get to see a movie there at the 66 Drive-In in Carthage. At the Merrimack Caverns, never been there. Maybe this time, who knows? The Chain of Rocks Bridge, further up Route 66. I see old Honest Dave up there. And it is his hometown, Springfield, Illinois, where he is buried. I have actually been there, but not a part of a Route 66 trip. And then the rest of the way up to Chicago. Chicago I've been to many times but never the starting point of Route 66, so I'm looking forward to that sometime. But like I mentioned, it's right on the water. You um, could even see quite a few different, uh, different geese or ducks or whatever they are over there, just chilling, taking it easy on a sunny day. It's a beautiful, beautiful park where this is at here in Oklahoma City.